Guys, the Foo Fighters have played an amazing set at the second Taylor Hawkins tribute concert in LA at the Kia Forum. It went off. The band played 12 songs in all with several special guest drummers joining them, starting off with the hit song from their one by one album, All My Life. Then Pink, who had played at the concert earlier, joined the band on stage for The Pretender and she sung vocals with Dave Grohl, each taking turns at different parts of the song. So that was pretty cool, pretty different. Then we went into their song Walk with Travis Barker on drums. And boy, he really sounds good with the band, right? Just fits in perfectly. And then we had Matt Cameron, this was pretty awesome, joining the Foo Fighters. He came up and drummed on their song Low. Dave remarked that they didn't play that one live much. And he said the riff was just a ripoff of Soundgarden's Jesus Christ pose. Making a joke there with former Soundgarden drummer Matt Cameron. But uh, it was one of Taylor's favorites. And I think it's because it's basically a drum riff from Jesus Christ pose. <laughs> this is a song we don't do too often, but uh, it's for Taylor. <laughs> Next up, it was Brad Wilk from Rage Against the Machine and Audio Slave. He was playing This Is a Call from the Fooey's debut album. So that was pretty cool to see him drumming with the Foo Fighters, too. After the band performed The Sky Is a Neighborhood, they went into Creep. That's right, the Radiohead song joined by none other than comedian Dave Chappelle. And Dave Grohl said after that song, I bet none of you were expecting that, right? So that was a bit of a surprise. Then with the Foo Fighters' good friend Omar Hakim on drums, they went into Run. And then we had Best of You before we were joined by Taylor Hawkins' son, Shane Hawkins, on the song My Hero, just like they did at Wembley Stadium. And Shane also played on a second song, I'll Stick Around, another one from the Fooey's debut. So cool seeing that song being done live, too. Then for the final song of the night, we were joined by Red Hot Chili Peppers drummer Chad Smith for none other than Everlong. And that capped off the night. So it wasn't just an exact copy of the set that they played at Wembley. They did throw some different songs in there. And very cool once again to see the Foo Fighters live on stage. And just where they go from here remains to be seen. But one thing is for sure, this band cannot stop. They've got to be out there holding up that banner for a rock and roll. And we'll just have to see what happens next with the band. As always guys, thanks heaps for tuning in. Be sure to drop a like on the video and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. We'll catch you next time.